Looking at student work with my colleagues really impacts my teaching because it allows me to kind of step back and take the different views from other people and really not only evaluate my own teaching of how maybe I'm presenting something or how I'm um, accommodating different students in different ways, but it also allows me to kind of um, see these things that I'm not seeing. They might be doing something else great but it's not the skill that we're looking for. So other people bringing that up really makes it more purposeful. Como lo vas a hacer? How will you do that? Four. I think four. Good, oh, you're right. Everyone has how many? Four. What about these two? What can you do with those now? Five. Five, right. How did you know what to do, Imelda? Uh, because they learned. Uh, how did you know that you had to put some here and some here? Because it's five. It's five to five. Five and five. And is it the same? Yeah. Yeah, it is the same, right. All right. What did you notice about the work? She had a good number sense where she could look at it and estimate mm -hmm. what number it was going to be. I noticed the similar thing. She looked at the pile of eight and almost immediately said four before she had even touched anything. That was kind of the same thought in my head. She immediately, you know, was able to visually supertize and kind of see like, okay, that's it. That's the same. That's the same. A great understanding of the same and different. And um, what does she understand? She could also count on. So she started with four and then put one more. She didn't have to count them again. She just went five. What about another one? Six. And I thought that was interesting too because even though Kathy is providing her with two cookies, she didn't say five, six or seven, eight. She knew that they sort of represented one whole set mm -hmm. of, of counting for her. That was really interesting. Okay, we're going to share the cookie so that each friend has the same amount. Can you count the cookies first to see how many there are? Oh, that's good. How did you know how to do that? We saw that he's very efficient with his strategy in fair sharing the cookies. And, you know, it, it's very typical of his age to say, I don't know, when, when you ask, you know, how did you know to do that? Um, I'm wondering, you know, um, with some prompts, if he might have been able to begin explaining his, his process. I wonder if you asked him, if you didn't ask him at the beginning to count the cookies, if he would have taken the same approach. I wonder if maybe he could have explained it better in his home language. Working together with my colleagues to anticipate what the students might be doing or thinking during a, a performance task has really helped because I can only see what I see while someone else might bring another perspective. And it's so interesting how some of them have that basic skill. And then, you know, there's kind of holes along their development mm -hmm. that, you know, this kid can count to five, but can't separate these. Well, this kid can separate into three groups, but can't count to four. Like, it's just, you know, you see the holes in their development. Right, right. I feel like when we come together, it's so helpful to, to see those holes. Oh, definitely. You mm -hmm. know, because usually we're looking at the whole picture, but when you start looking at the different skills, and we've really talked about it ahead of time, it's easy to sort of focus in on, oh, this person needs a little bit more assistance over here. Right. And when we started and we weren't videotaping, I don't feel like we got as much out of it. Like and this really going really. back and like, yeah. Jen, look at this. Exactly. <laughs> look at this. Look at what he did.